Hello everyone, I'm uh, Giorgio from uh, IngeDemurtas.com. Uh, you're standing in front of the nacelle uh, cabinet that controls basically the, the brake system of the wind turbine and uh, the yaw movements. So I'm going to show you how it works and we're going to test uh, its functionalities. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to power it up. So what we have is uh, in the cabinet is a small uh, air compressor that is sending the air through this uh, tube inside a one-way valve that is here and then the air is going into the into the tank and here you see that the pressure is rising uh, there is a T-joint before the one-way valve and this uh, blue pipe here that leads to a, a valve uh, actuated uh, with a solenoid is connected in parallel with the motor of the compressor so that when the motor is powered off the valve open and release the pressure uh, in this uh, pipe so that uh, the next time the compressor starts it does not start with the pressure in front of it. And then from the tank, uh, the pressure is going into this one that is a presostat that will uh, stop the compressor when uh, it reaches the, the set pressure. There is a pressure safety valve that is uh, set to about 12 bar. And the, the exit uh, of the air to use the pipe down there it goes into this valve. And then through this uh, piece that I'm going to explain later, it goes in this pipe and to the brake. So the brake is uh, actuated with the, with the spring that keeps the, the brake uh, clamped uh, onto the disc. And uh, when there is air pressure to it, uh, it compresses the spring and opens and releases the, the brake. So it's a fail-safe uh, mechanism. So what happens uh, when we want to break is basically we uh, cut the power off to this valve and uh, this valve will move and uh, this pipe will go into venting through this uh, uh, piece that it will uh, make a, a small passage of the air so that uh, it goes out slower so that we get uh, a progressive uh, uh, braking and, ju and not just uh, uh, a break that is uh, a lot of torque suddenly. So when I release the power to the motor, you check out the, the calipers. You see they are braking, they're, they're going to squeeze on the disc, and uh, now the, the turbine will stop. And uh, when I release, uh, the valve will send again the air pressure to the, to the caliper that will uh, release uh, from the disc brake. And uh, also notice uh, on, on this uh, press that when I press, nothing happens because the air is released from here to the ambient. And uh, when I release, so when it's uh, uh, releasing the brake, the air is going from the tank to the brake and you will see the pressure will drop. So in a few times, you do it a few times uh, and uh, then the press that will kick in again and uh, the compressor will start. Here on the side of the cabinet I have this uh, connector for the cable that goes uh, down in the tower with all the control signals and uh, the other cable going down in the tower is the power cable and it's going directly from the generator. And then here I have the, the cable to the to the yaw motor, the cable to the yaw limit switch. And these three, they are uh, proximity sensors, and they will uh, measure the RPM of the high speed shaft, RPM of the low speed shaft, and the status of the disc brake. And uh, here I will have a cable going to the cap anemometer, to the wind vane, and um, eventually to a vibration sensor. This still have to, to think on uh, how to make it. There are several uh, techniques uh, that I have uh, 
in mind that, that are used on um, that were used on uh, all the wind turbines like uh, wind turbines made in the 80s really simple uh, uh, vibration sensors um, or maybe I would put a modern accelerometer and uh, and, do so and have some more flexibility of uh, especially setting thresholds and uh, understanding what is a not what is a normal uh, level of vibrations and uh, what's not so that is uh, that's it for for this video i hope you you liked it and uh, i will continue to work on the on the other things like the, the cover for the for the nacelle and the, the support to mount the the caliper of the disc brake So you're welcome to, to drop me a message in the, either in the comments or write me an email if you want me to, to explain more on this uh, wind turbine design. See you.